Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple search in Laravel. So here we're going to have a search option here and if someone search by title or description it will show us that certain data. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see all posts. So after this we're going to have a form and in this form we are going to have input field. So input type will be search and let's say name will be search as well. And in this form, we're going to say action, then we'll set here method. So method will be get, and in the action, let's give to second bracket, then we'll set here URL to first bracket to single quotation, let's set here my underscore search. After this input type search, let's have a submit button. Let's say here input type, it will be submit, and let's say that value for this submit button will be search and this will be submit i made a spelling mistake if we now save this then if we now refresh here there you can see you have a search option and we have the search button let's just add a little bit of space here so for it after this form let's just add a line break here let's use the PR tag let me copy it and Paste it here. If we now save it, there will be some space here. And there you go. So here for beyond is that when you write something and click on search, it will show us that certain matter. For it, let's go back. And here what we are going to do is first of all, we are going to create this URL my underscore search. And the method will be get. So let's go to our raw woods, then web.php. Let me just go down. And let me just copy it out from here. Control C and I'm going to paste it over here. So the route will be get and our route name of my underscore search. So I'm going to say here my underscore search. And we will use the home controller and the function name will be let's say search or let's say my underscore search. So right now let's go to our home controller and create this function. So we'll go to app, HTTP, controller and home controller. So let's go down. Then we're going to say here, public function, my underscore search, then to first bracket and we need to say here, request dollar request then do second bracket we need to say this request dollar request because we want to get that search data that's why so right now let me just declare a variable here let's say dollar search equal to we need to say dollar request this arrow sign and then we need to mention this name equal to search after this arrow sign so right now we have the such input in this variable now we need to write a query but before that what we need to do is that we want to search in the post table here you can see post table so first of all you need to add the post model name at the top of your controller after that there is one more thing that you need to do and that is here you can see that we are showing all those data over here you can see and we are showing those data let me just show you if we just go to this page and if you go down here you can see you are using for each dollar post so we use dollar post in order to show the data title description image and everything right so we need to declare this same variable over here after the search so we we'll declare the variable then we'll give equal then we'll mention our model name which is post then we'll give to double quotation so here you can see this post is basically our table model name here you can see post so after this you need to say here where to first bracket to single quotation and how you want to search your data so for my case i want to search it by title and in the database table here you can see we write title like this title so we'll say here title then we'll give a comma to single quotation and inside this we we'll say here like 
then a comma then again single quotation inside this two single quotation we need to give a percentage sign then we need to give two dot two single quotation and again percentage and here inside this two dot we need to mention this dollar search let me just copy it and paste it here give this arrow sign and we'll say here get after that we need to return the user to this same queue this all post dot blade dot php that's why we are using the same variable dollar post so here we're going to say return queue so inside this we're going to mention our file name which is all post since we are using the same file that's why we need to declare dollar post over here the same variable here so here we need to measure our file name which is all post then we need to say here comma compact then to single quotation and inside this to single quotation we are going to mention this post so we we'll say here post and save it so let's go back to our browser and refresh here and let's say we want to search the sun here you can see a camera t-shirt and sun for title so let's say here sun click on search and there you can see it is only showing us the sun if we say camera it will show us only camera and if we give it empty and click on search it will show us all the data let's say you want to search by title and also by description for it what you can do is let me just uh, remove the get from here we'll give this arrow sign then we'll say or or then to first bracket and i can just copy this from here and paste it inside this first bracket then we'll give this arrow sign and we'll say here get right now here instead of title we want to search also by description and in the database here we write description like this so we say here description let's save this then let me just refresh here and there you can see uh, universe is in the description there you can see so let me just copy this and if we just paste it in the search and click on search there you can see it will show us universe and let me just copy this from here let's paste it in the search bar click on search it will show us that certain search option so this way you can make a simple search in laravel i hope this was easy for you to understand if you have any question or suggestion just let me know make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials